The Philippine crocodile, Crocodilus minorensis, is a freshwater crocodilian endemic to the Philippines. It is critically endangered and one of the rarest animal species on the planet. In 1999, Merlijn van Weert and his Philippine colleagues found a remnant population of the Philippine crocodile in northeast Luzon. When we started, it was the, the whole crocodile research project was just part of a larger biodiversity survey project. Um, the crocodile stood out as, as a very special species, extremely rare. And when we basically found out that nobody in the Philippines was doing much to conserve crocodiles on the ground, in the field, um, we started a conservation project for it. Historically, the Philippine crocodile was found all over the Philippines, but currently the species occurs with certainty only in northern Luzon and southwestern Mindanao. The Philippine crocodile is so rare because the species has been hunted and killed for its skin and out of fear. Crocodiles are not very popular animals. Moreover, Philippine crocodiles live in freshwater wetlands. Many of these have been converted into rice fields. In a densely populated country, such as the Philippines, there will only be a future for crocodiles in the wild if people will accept to share some of the scarce space with crocodiles. The Philippine crocodile is protected by national law, but environmental law enforcement in the Philippines is weak, especially in remote areas where crocodiles survive. Merlijn van Weerd is director of the Mabuaya Foundation, which was established to conserve the Philippine crocodile and its habitat. The foundation employs six former students of the local university who implement the conservation program in collaboration with Dutch volunteers. We try to raise awareness and increase knowledge about the Philippine crocodile among local communities. We explain that the Philippine crocodile is found only in the Philippines and educate people about the need for wetland conservation and about environmental laws. Our message is that the Philippine crocodile is something to be proud of. We believe that crocodiles will only be conserved sustainably if communities not only participate in conservation, but actually design and implement wetland and crocodile conservation strategies themselves. Communities in the municipality of San Mariano have declared three Philippine crocodile sanctuaries, each with its own rules and regulations. And advise the clearing we will take with a premium cost diversion in crocodile sac road located at Sitio Limanon, Barangay Katsanan, San Mariano Isabela. Community members have been trained and legally deputized to enforce the village laws that protect the crocodile and its habitat. We try to link crocodile and wetland conservation to a better future for communities. Fishermen claim they now catch more fish that spills over from crocodile sanctuaries. The use of destructive and unhealthy fishing methods, such as electricity and chemicals, has declined as a result of increased awareness and better environmental law enforcement. We assist communities towards a better future through the provision of school supplies for children, the construction of water pumps for clean drinking water, and the change towards more sustainable land use, such as agroforestry, instead of monoculture corn. The strategy of the Mabuaya Foundation seems to work. Since 2005, Philippine crocodiles have successfully bred in the wild in San Mariano every year. The population has increased from 12 crocodiles in 1999 to more than 60 now. We have used our experiences with community participation in crocodile conservation in San Mariano to establish a second crocodile population in Isabella province through the reintroduction of captive bred animals. We had a workshop where we were talking about the future of the Philippine crocodile. And then we were talking about those crocodiles that were in the crocodile farm in Palawan. And why could we not reintroduce these to the wild where they belong? Dikachan Lake in the municipality of Divilekan on the eastern side of the Sierra Madre Mountains was declared a Philippine crocodile sanctuary by the local community and municipal government in 2009. On 31 July 2009, 50 captive bred Philippine crocodiles were released in Dikachan Lake by community members. 
This is one of the largest reintroductions of a critically endangered species ever. Together with the recovering wild population in San Mariano, the establishment of this second sizable subpopulation offers genuine hope for the continued survival of the Philippine crocodile in the wild. Your wife will be jealous. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.